Welcome to the first e-lecture on Learning Window. My name is Caroline and I am the lead instructor for this module. In today's lecture we will learn about risk in insurance. Risk is the very fundamental element to insurance. Without risk, the need for insurance is almost non-existent. So it is important we learn a bit about risk before moving into the world of insurance. Today we will explore what risk is, the risk transfer mechanism, and so on. Risk in insurance terms is the inability to accurately predict the effects of future events. For example, in layman's terms, if something may or may not happen. What makes risk so risky? There are three key factors to risk. They are possibility, uncertainty, and unpredictability. Possibility is the chance that something may or may not happen. For example, whether the customer's car will get stolen or not. Unpredictability, when the actual event will take Unpredictability, when the actual event will take place. When will the car get stolen? And uncertainty, whether the event may result in a financial loss or not. If the car is stolen, will they actually suffer a loss or will the car be re recovered undamaged and hence no loss? In insurance terms, what the insurers are interested in is whether the event will lead to any kind of loss. In this context, risk equals uncertainty. Essentially, we display two main attitudes to risk. Some risk prevents us from doing certain things, but usually we find ways to accept and move around the risk. When we do this, we are essentially risk managing. For example, instead of crossing the road, we may use to choose the subway. So, you approach to your, so your approach to risk is driven by your attitude to risk. There are two types of attitude to risk. Firstly, risk averse. Risk averse means you are very cautious and does things or takes steps towards a more no or certain path. Risk seeking. Risk seeking means you are less cautious and does things or takes steps towards a more unknown or uncertain path. Now we know what risk is and how we generally manage risk in our day-to-day -day lives, we can now explore insurance as a means to risk management by individuals and businesses. Insurance is nothing but a risk transfer mechanism. Think about all risk associated with this car. Car being stolen. Car being on fire. Car in an accident. Each of the above associated each of the above risk associated with car can be transferred to an insurer. Risk transfer is about recognising a risk and then making arrangements with somebody else to either take or share that risk. So we purchase car insurance in order to transfer all the risk to an insurer. Understandably, insurance companies do not take on risk for free, but charge a fee or premium for doing so. The amount of premium will be influenced by the likelihood and consequence of the risk occurring. There are different levels of risk that exist. We know that there is a greater likelihood of some things happening than others, and this determines the level of risk involved. Risk is usually assessed in terms of frequency, how often, severity, how serious it will be if it does happen. These are the measurement criteria used in the risk management process. Underwriters, in order to determine the correct premium, will look at every risk from two levels. 1. Frequency. 2. Severity. Frequency is how often something is going to happen. Severity is how bad something is going to be. Let's explore levels of risk in a simple matrix with some examples of risk in order to better understand the levels of risk and its influence over the premium. In order to better understand a risk, the insurer will require a lot of information from the customer. A proposal form is usually used to gather all the details for risk assessment. Let's look at some of the details that gets captured in the proposal form for a household content policy. Total value of all the contents at the property. List of all valuable items, usually precious metals, jewellery, painting, works of art, watches, etc. 
List of single items above a certain value. List of single items above a certain value taken away from the home. Expensive bicycles at home. Address and location of the property. Flood risk related questions. Fire alarm fitting. Burger alarm fitted. Insurers at sales stage will usually take the responses in the proposal form on utmost good faith and ensure the risk. It is when at claim stage insurance companies may ask you to check that the actual details of the risk match the details that were provided at the proposal stage. For example, loss adjusters are often asked to estimate the total value of contents within a home when attending the property to deal with a contents claim. If the actual value of the contents is significantly more than what was suggested by the policyholder at proposal stage, the insurance company may question whether they would have accepted the risk or charged a higher premium. Make a list of features of a house, its occupants and location that you believe would mean that the risk of fire, flood, theft and escape of water is lower. Now make a list of features that you would expect to make the risk the same things higher.